got like 70 bikers coming up right now. <clears throat> Heads up. Alright, thank you. They're coming right now. The Weedoo Aspen 50 is 50 miles, 7,500 feet approximately of total, total climbing on some of our most iconic trails and hopefully the start of something great. I originally started with the idea that we would do 100. I had a course in mind that ended up being totally undoable. And it just morphed and evolved into a, a 50. And then I, then I went out to try to curate kind of 25 to 30 spots, ask TJ Van Garter and ask Lachlan Morton, ask Dylan Casey, ask Lucas User, ask you know, Mike Shea and the Gaston brothers and Max Tam and all these local guys or guys from the valley to Alfredo and his two Mexican buddies who drove from Tijuana in a sprinter van. We had a multinational event, but it, you had these crazy stories come together, which to me ended up being way more special than I had anticipated. So we chose to start at the Buttermilk Ski Area, and we came you know, straight up the bike path from Buttermilk, straight through the old west end of Aspen, backside of the Jerome, around past the old art museum, and then hit Smuggler. And then it was sort of, you know, even though this is not a race, then the race was on. I mean, admittedly, these are, these are some of the most popular trails that we have. Uh, some of them are, have been around for a long, long time. I mean, trails like Tom Blake and Rim Trail, Hummingbird, Four Corners, down Lenado, past Hunter's Ranch, Woody Creek, to me, they're trails that almost anybody can do. Everybody finished in buttermilk. Five o'clock that night, we have an after party right here at the house, and you know how those things go. I mean, there's always, you start with 200 people, and then it gets down, the next thing you know, you got 20 that you just, they're camped out. I think the Aspen 50, I think we have to be very thoughtful about where this event goes and evolves. Hopefully we can go from 75 people to more people. I'm not out here to, to try to build the next Super Bowl. But I had a hell of a good time. I think everybody else did too and so we'll see what happens in 2017.